Hello and welcome to this Amcrest View Pro tutorial. In this video, we will cover how to use the app to configure motion detection and how to use playback to view previous recordings. Before getting started, you want to make sure that your camera is properly added to your app and also that your camera has a micro SD card installed and working. Visit amcrest.com forward slash videos or follow the links in the description to watch those tutorials. To get started, launch the Amcrest View Pro app. Then, tap the menu icon in the top left. Next, let's select Configuration Center, then Motion Detect. Choose your camera, then toggle Advanced Config. Here, you can set the schedule, region, recording, or snapshot settings, and a lot more. By default, your camera will be set to record 24-7 once a microSD card is properly installed. You can change that by tapping Schedule here. Then tap the edit icon in the top right to set the time periods. Remember that you can turn scheduled or normal recordings off completely if you want to save space on your micro SD card. Instead, you can set up your camera to only record when motion is detected. Now, the time periods shown here must be configured chronologically, meaning that, of the six different time periods that can be set, you cannot have, for instance, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. be the top entry, then choose 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. for number two. Here, you can see that number 1 covers the full 24-hour cycle. Tap any one of the periods to set a specific start and end time. Once you're finished, you can copy these time periods over to other days. As you can see here, Sunday is currently selected. So, let's tap Copy, then set up these periods for the whole week, and tap Save. You can also choose an individual day to set up by tapping here in the Date row. Don't forget to tap Save again to wrap up here. You can now see the schedule reflects our changes. Tap the back arrow when you're done. Next, let's look at the region settings. You can set up different sections of your camera's field of view to be active or inactive for detecting motion. This helps eliminate false positives and gives you complete control over your motion detection setup. To get started, tap Region Setting from this list. Here, you can see a grid that shows where motion can be detected. By default, the entire grid will be active for motion detection. This is indicated by all the blocks being clear. To mask certain regions, tap the paintbrush icon down below. Then tap and drag your finger across the blocks until you've covered up the desired area. To undo any of your selection, tap the pen icon in the bottom left and drag over the same blocks again. When finished, tap the back arrow. Now, let's look at how to access old recordings from the micro SD card using the playback feature in the app. Tap the back arrow in the top left, and it will ask you to save. Tap save to keep all the changes you just made. Tap back one more time, then tap the menu icon one more time and select playback towards the top. Here, you can add multiple cameras and also choose between pulling up video recordings and snapshots. To access your recordings, tap one of the plus signs to choose a device to pull recordings from. I'll choose my backyard camera. Then, choose the date and time you want to see recordings for. Once it pulls up your recordings, you can double tap the camera feed to enlarge it. Now you can speed up or slow down playback, play the next individual frame, and pause the feed with the buttons on the bottom row. If you want to know more about any specific option, button, or icon in the app, please remember you can access the app's reference guide by opening the main menu, then tapping Help. That's all there is to it! Thanks for watching, and please be sure to subscribe if you want to check out more tutorial videos like this one from Amcris Technologies.